This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so in this session, we are going to see what is the difference between S underscore taboo underscore dis and S underscore taboo underscore nam. So this is the new authorization object that has been delivered by SAP latter. So this was the earlier object. So both these objects are basically to restrict the table access. But how are they different from each other? So that is what we're going to see in this session now. So I'm taking a table for your example sake. I have a table which is called as USR02. So this is the table name well-known table for all the security consultants. And now I need to know this table belongs to which group. So that we get from TD DAT table again. So in TD DAT, I put the table name as USR02. And when I execute, I get the authorization group name. SC. Okay. So this is my authorization group name. It belongs to so this table. This is actually called as table authorization group. So SC. Right. Now first let us understand the difference between S underscore tab underscore this and S underscore tab underscore nap. So S underscore tab underscore this as following fields the fields are actvt activity and then authorization group whereas s underscore tabu underscore nam has actvt which is activity and table name so in order to provide access to this table USR02, you can use any one of them. Both are not necessary. So either you can give access like 03 represents display access here, and authorization group here should be value should be SC. Because we don't have the value of a table name, we have to maintain the table group of it. When it comes to S underscore tab underscore nam, you should you can directly enter the table name. So here I'm putting activity 03 and the table name is uh, directly USR 02. Right now let us see the difference now. So in terms of uh, so how it will be system will behave when we give both the objects or when we give a single object. So we are giving we are going to create now a different types different roles. So let us give it as a Z colon table access one. So the T code required for table access, I'm adding it as SE16. That's it. And when it comes to authorizations, the authorizations are directly pulled from the SU24. So you have s underscore tab underscore this here directly pulled. So under s underscore t code, you got se16. So that is by default coming up. And this s underscore tab underscore this by default is giving you activity 03, which means display. So 03 stands for display. Now here in the table authorization group, I am maintaining sc. So that is what actually we, we have seen already. SC is the authorization group. I'm saving it. Let us generate the profile. Okay, the profile has been created. Now let us create another role. Access to Where we don't use that s underscore tabo underscore this, uh, instead we will use s underscore tabo underscore nam. 
SE 16 access has been added again and in the authorizations because it is not coming from SU 24 we may need to add it manually the object is not coming you can put technical names on I am getting a s underscore t code and s underscore tab underscore this so I have to add manually s underscore taboo underscore nam and we will deactivate this taboo underscore this so it is inactive and just I am activating this one um, so again I maintain here activity 03 display access now directly the table name can be maintained here so USR 02 so you have to understand the second role consists of s underscore tab underscore nam and it does not contain this okay s underscore tab underscore this is not there right now we will create two ids so i will take it as test underscore let us take it as nam display nam and then i'm just defining a simple password we need to test it with this id again and the role i created the first role is table access one which has group s underscore tab underscore this and then the another id oh sorry let us assign to this the second role because the second role is actually containing the it is access to yeah and the second test id is this defining the password and I am assigning the role which contains the this object s underscore tab underscore this that is access one table okay so the data is ready now let us log in with the respective IDs So I'm logging in with uh, the first ID s underscore turbo underscore this. Sorry, the name of the ID is test underscore dis. Yeah, this is first time login, so it is asking for change of password. Passwords must be identical. Now I'm executing the T code SE16 and then I go to table USR02. Execute. So perfectly working. So this is what the traditional way so far we have been doing using S underscore tab underscore this we are able to access the table usr02 but now there are second test now is so this is desk which has this access now let us log in with this id test underscore neam welcome first time login so define the password now you have access to SE 16 and now same table again USR 02 execute I can also access from this also so from this what you have to understand so what is outcome is both are not necessary either this or this you have to
so either s underscore turbo underscore this or so if you are maintaining s underscore turbo underscore this uh, you need to put the group name otherwise you can just uh, deactivate it uh, and then you can directly maintain the table name okay so this is the difference between s underscore turbo underscore this and s underscore turbo underscore nam so both are not mandatory for table restriction any one object is enough right so thank you all